you are offering a course fundamentals of combustion can you please tell me like uh, is it useful for a thermal plant engineers and all and can you please give a short introduction about that course yeah that is the course on combustion where uh, uh, we teach about uh, uh, the chemical thermodynamics then uh, we talk, uh, teach about uh, how much air is required to burn a fuel and all then we go on to uh, talk more about the flames because uh, non flames flames burner flames and other things so yeah in thermal power plant where you use different types of uh, fuels to uh, in the boiler no there uh, uh, this concept will be useful but we are not teaching anything about the thermal power plant accelerates boilers and so on in that course it's only combustion part of that okay yeah so some of some of the initial lectures uh, till we go to say flames will be mm. uh, quite useful for the uh, uh, calculation what you normally do in thermal power plant yeah so for example you have multi zone air injection to connect uh, for burning fuels and all no so if i think the coal or any other oil based power plants how to burn that those things we teach in the first uh, part uh, yeah, maybe the first three or four modules after that it goes into the fundamentals of flames turbulence and other things then we also cover uh, some part of uh, coal combustion uh, then uh, uh, the oil droplet combustion and so on it's more fundamental course on combustion okay so actually like uh, uh, you will teach about the air velocity required and all these parts also no sir Okay, okay. That is the first part we do with the stoichiometry. How much air is required to burn a fuel? How you calculate mm -hmm. it? How you calculate the products of combustion? With the products of combustion, how will you know how much air has been supplied and so on? Mm -hmm. That will be the first uh, few uh, part modules, the three or four modules. After that, we go into the application part. The application part basically has the burners and the flames and other things. okay okay sir sir then what about the applied thermodynamics part like those course also actually like uh, you are offering no yes the applied thermodynamics uh, thermodynamics actually is a more relevant course because we cover cycles mm. there first uh, mm -hmm. we tell about how to calculate exergy uh, balance for under volumes and other things then mm. we move on to teach uh, uh, the say different cycles rankin cycle gas turbine cycle and uh, how the regeneration reading that that is somewhat uh, a course which is actually helpful for knowing the uh, the power plant uh, uh, components how, how how you analyze that using both first law and second law and all there also we teach combustion part in one particular thing so i think that is more relevant course uh, there are there are two more topics on one on refrigeration psychometric uh, refrigeration and air conditioning then mm -hmm. one on compressible flow but uh, except that everything may be very much useful actually okay yeah uh, even those ic engines are also little bit useful sir because we use the dg sets and correct uh, correct correct that uh, uh, important like it is only a thermodynamic analysis so it will be useful mm -hmm. because like uh, as a instrumentation engineer i have very less basics on that and because i have done the basic thermodynamic course actually it was very helpful for me in plant to get a uh, actually view on all those things mechanical view on all those things yeah yeah that that course will be more relevant than uh... okay applied thermodynamics yes yes <laughs> okay
any other questions Man, please ask the question. Unmute yourself and you can ask the question. What is the doubt in the interpolation technique? Okay, then type the question then. Manth, please type the question on uh, what doubt you have in the interpolation question uh, technique. Yeah, please complete the question. Yeah, the initial state is uh, 1 megapascal, 400 degrees. And uh, the exist state is 200 megapascal, kilopascals. Correct. You have to do the uh, size and process, so you have to do the uh, S2 equal to S1, so you have to do the interpolation. So first of all, you have to find the state. Okay, the state is uh, uh, 200 kilopascals. Uh, is the S2 is uh, greater than Sg. That is the saturated vapors uh, entropy at 200 kilopascals. If it is, then it is super zero state. If not, then it will be in a saturated state, basically. If the value of S2 is uh, in between SF and SG, then you have to interpolate uh, using the saturated state. So what is your question? So if, what state it is in the, in the exact uh, answer? What state it is in? Hello, sir. Yeah, please tell. Uh, um, sir, uh, in that I have a question that uh, uh, we have interpolated that entropy at uh, 200 kPa. I mean, uh, we have given uh, entropy at uh, uh, 1 MPa and we have to take that entropy to 200 kPa and interpolate that this is According yeah, to yeah, weak temperature. Yes. See, there are two properties required to fix the state, correct? One property is pressure, 200 kilopascals. And the second property for the state two is the entropy, correct? Because the process is isentropic, the second property, what? See, there are two properties which are required to fix the state. The first property is the pressure which is given in the problem itself. A second property is the actually, uh, due to the process, we know that S2 equal to S1. Now you have to see whether the S2 is in between SF and SG, that is the saturated liquids uh, uh, specific entropy or saturated vapor specific entropy in between these two at the pressure of 200 kilopascals. If it is so, then the state is saturated mixture or else the state will be superheated. Then you have to go to superheated tables and uh, interpolate between two rows. Do you understand? Hello? Mantha, are you able to hear me? Yeah. 
please type if you are not able to speak please type you are muted Okay, thank you then. Yeah. Any other questions you have? Mahatukan Anikan Sama. Is that a club? The Marathi Mashur Kavat. Her heart Mashur Uchi Dukan K. TK Pakwa. रामा माना ये तेरा अपमान पर अपमान किए जा रहा है लेकिन इसकी बातों में मत आना ये तुझे उकसा रहा है धैर्य से काम ले रामा इसकी चुनौती स्वीकार मत करना ये बहुत चतुर है हां बंधु बहुत चतुर है ये पर अभी तक तो मुझे इसका समाधान सूझा भी नहीं है लेकिन मुझे गुरुवर को बचाने के लिए इसकी चुनौती स्वीकार करनी होगी नहीं यूं कायर की भांति यहां खड़ा रहकर गुरुवर को मरने नहीं दे सकता रामा लेकिन कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं करेगा तू बस कर क्या हुआ ऊंची दुकान पे पीके पकवा अभी आपने हमारे पकवान का स्वाद चखा कहां है गुप्त जी हां Hello, Manth. Is there any other questions? Uh, if you you're type, in, uh, if you want, you can, can type, type it. Yeah. See, that is the syllabus for thermodynamics, and what I have, uh, what is covered in this course will be uh, there in that syllabus, basically, for uh, gate. So you practice these problems well, I think that will help you in the thermodynamics part of the exam. Vignesh, what to do now? Hey, you have it, Mantha. No? Okay, so Mantha has replied that all doubt clear. Okay. Yeah. So no other students are there? Uh, no, sir. Uh, only Mantha is there. Okay, we can just want to do now. We will wait for some time or we will leave.
after uh, i called the vignesh sir so he is telling that he will close the session now and leave now then ah yes sir he will close the session now okay then